Welcome to this short, well not short, extra video I've made to point out why I personally prefer a CRT monitor over an LCD TV. The quality of the video sometimes is outstanding. I'm still testing and trying to find the best way to film my CRT and LCD, mainly my CRT. The small color changes such as purple turning blue and red turning orange are hard to tackle. Then I have one more thing. Why CRT? I'm going to show you a comparison against my LCD TV with direct video and this JVC CRT with analog signal via my S-Video cable. The difference, you'll see it. It's pretty obvious. So I'm going to test it with you guys and girls on three types of cores from the mister. We just recently got the N64 in our update all. I'm going to show one N64 game. Yeah, I've loaded up a bunch of games and they all work. It's really amazing. Like Mario Golf, Sin and Punishment and Animal Forest. I tried it all. The Saturn Core. The Saturn Core is a bit clunky, but I really like it because it's, it's new to me. I, I've never seen it. When I was young, I wasn't interested in it. I, I knew it was around, but it was a short period. And I really like some of those games. They look quite awesome. I'm leaning on towards also showing, what's it again? SNK, the SNK, the Neo Geo. Neo Geo is fantastic on CRTs. I also have a PC CRT and there it runs super smooth. Probably looks good on a TV CRT as well. And I'm going to show one MSX game because MSX is where it all started for me. That was the 80s. There were no LCDs. Never. All my MSX nostalgia comes from real CRTs. Check it out. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you three... Three cores or computers so let's start with we'll start with the saturn core and we'll start with we first have to boot the bios oh fantastic you'll probably hear stereo because i you hear the lcd and the crt monitor at the same time what shall we do? Platform game. Um, I want to do something I already played. So and that's a, a third person shooter. No. I want to do a simulate. I always put my games in genres. That's easier for me than that alphabetical shit you always see. So. I have strategy games, shmups, horizontal, shmups, verticals, RPGs, racing games, puzzle. But that way I always have a short list where I can fast find games I want to play. I'm looking for a simulate and what'll be stellar assault. I hope I didn't check. I didn't check the, the language settings. Ah, it's perfect. Now you'll see the difference between the real deal and do a short part of the intro. Four years have passed since first contact. Earth, the third planet, fell under siege to an alien fleet the likes of which we'd never seen. The situation seemed dire. Okay. Going straight into the game. Hell yeah. Type A, let's go. The United Nations Space Force is Earth's first... Skip the story. Line of defense against alien invasion. The enemy. Oh no, start mission.
This is Hog One. Right. Ernie, radio check. Loud and clear, sir. This marks the first field up of the illustrious Joint Space Command. Let's move out. Mission area coordinates confirmed. Initiating jump. All scan points will be displayed on your HUD. Just follow the screen. Approaching mission area. Disengaging jump drive. This is all still all units fan out. Let's be home in time for dinner. A little bit intro. Please align your targeting reticle with the green marker. Alright. We have to use the D pad. Units have reached the scanning point. Very good. Undock your support craft and start scanning. Undocking Kite 3. Stand by on heightened alert. Kite 3. Initiating scan. All support craft have finished conducting your scan, sir. All right. Let's dock them and roll back. Picking up increased kinetic activity at the enemy site. Well, I guess they finally noticed. Thermal reading spiking. They're attacking. Kite 3 damaged. All channels offline. Detecting jump turbulence. No ID signals. Multiple enemy craft exiting jump. All units, Ooh, you yeah. have your own discretion. Time to step it up. There we go, now let's fight. This is with interlacing. You can't see interlacing very well on LCD TVs on CRTs. It's perfect. No. <laughs> USA. Again, reset. I thought it was my Japanese version. Here we should see the interlacing. I yeah, you can see it when it moves, right? stuff boys I already had a game that really surprised me okay let's do a classic let's see if we can find some differences here Thank you. 
Okay, just... I'm X. Hell yeah. It's the only part in the game where you see Luigi. <laughs> loose. Here it goes. possible fight. We learn a little bit about the mechanics and then it's goodbye princess.
That's the end of Mario. All right, I also want to show you that here I also placed all my N64 games in in zip folders named after a genre. So in each zip folder, you can place all your N64 games. Simulation, I have simulation games, sports games, a lot of sports games. Uh, what else do we have? Platforms, a lot of platform games, beat em ups, just a few. Action games, Bomberman. Last core I want to try, or last two cores. From the N64, we go to computer, and we have MSX. So we have booting screen of MSX. And this is the one chip MSX emulation. I have a menu, now we have sofa run, multi mente, I go straight to the basic, or MS DOS, I have some instructions and reboot. Uh, we do sofa run, of course. It takes the time. You can do everything with the controller, so that's also very nice sofa run. You don't need to use your keyboard unless it's a game that really needs a keyboard. The Konami games. So I'll do a Konami game because. So here we have the Konami zip folder somewhere. And now we get full names. And then we have Fumon. This is a. Shall we do Kings Valley or Metal Gear 2? Kings Valley, something completely different from what we've seen so far. This is a puzzle platform game. I don't think everyone knows this, but hell yeah, it's cool. This is real Konami. Man. levels so when you play this you have lots of time oh I have to wait he only walks to the left and to the right so it's easy Still do it. <laughs> we also have hammers and, and shovels where you can dig into the ground. Nice knives you can throw, boomerangs. Yeah, it's a real cool game. And that's level one. Okay, we have time for another game. One more game. Too bad only we have to restart the whole thing. So restart sofa run, etc. etc. I think we should do a Nemesis 2 or Gradius. Smooth scrolling. Yeah, of course. I have to do inflation first because it's a zipped file so it creates a temporary file for the next time I play this it will not it has to do all this unzipping so this is one time it looks kind of dark on the CRT if you ask me Now it loads the ROM. Also, the sound for this game is great. Okay. The 
is a special version of Gradius. <laughs> Laser is always good. Next thing we need is option. This option gives me more. <laughs> okay. That's enough. Let's do one more tour. And that will be... Yeah. Neo Geo. Garu Dentetsu. Fight. Mark of the Wolves. This one looks so good. I'm bad at fighting games, so... Bear with me. This one good. This guy's cool. Cherry. It's new looks. So let's go with. It's top secret. Just look at the backgrounds, everything. It looks super. Fighting on a train. Ooh, it's Terry. Did a block. Ouch. That was nice. 
guys. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, that's your demos. I showed some differences, but sometimes it wasn't totally fair since the cameras couldn't capture everything correctly. Hope you liked this CRT demo of my JVC CRT. Bye!